Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, a problem on uh, hydrothermal system scheduling. Okay. Here in this problem, I have detailed uh, about uh, the hydro plant and the thermal plant. Let's go through the problem. A hydrothermal system has to supply 90 megawatt for one week. The unit characteristics are hydro plant uh, characteristic equation Q is equal to 300 plus 15 uh, pgh meter cube per second and uh, with a constraint pgh lies between 0 to 100 megawatt and cost function for thermal power plant f of pgt is equal to 53.25 plus 11.27 pgt plus 0 0.0213 pgt square it's in a uh, unit cost per megawatt hour with a constant PGT lies between 10 to 60 megawatt which means the total power uh, hydropower generated will be between 0 to 100 megawatt and uh, thermal power generated should be between 10 to 60 megawatt and they have also asked to determine the schedule if hydropower plant or hydro plant energy is limited to 10,000 megawatt hour if hydro plant energy is limited to 10,000 megawatt, what would be the schedule? They have asked. Okay. Let us go through the solution. In the problem, they had uh, mentioned uh, for one week, which means a uh, total time, total time, T max is equal to one week. Total time T max is equal to one week, which means uh, for one week uh, we are having seven days. Each day consists of twenty four hours, which means one sixty eight hour. Total duration of operation is one sixty eight hours and uh, total load energy total load energy is equal to 90 megawatt for 168 in the question they had mentioned the system has to supply 90 megawatt for one week so we are taking it as 90 megawatt for one week it is having 168 hours total it would be 15,120 megawatt hour 15,120 megawatt hour okay now we are going to find the thermal energy thermal energy E capital E is equal to load energy minus uh, hydro energy the total thermal energy that we need to generate should be equal to the total load energy minus uh, whatever the hydro power energy that we are generating load energy is now 15,120 megawatt hour minus hydro energy here they had mentioned hydro power plant energy is limited to 10,000 megawatt substituting 10,000 will be having 5,120 megawatt hour this is the value of E 5120 megawatt hour and now we are going to find a PGT thermal power generated will be equal to square root of A divided by C this is from a energy storage equation PGT will be equal to square root of A divided by C this A and C we are considering it from uh, the cost function 
and cost function this will be coefficient a here it is b and here it is c a b and c now the value of a is 53.25 c is 0 0.0213 substituting square root of 53.25 divided by 0 0.02 one three it leads to fifty megabit. We got a PGT as a fifty megabit. We need to cross verify the value of PGT. PGT should lie between ten to sixty megabit and it is a fifty megabit, which is in the limit. We can move forward. And the time of operation we need to find the time of operation of a thermal power generated thermal power generation time of operation will be equal to total energy thermal energy divided by pgt total thermal energy is 5120 megawatt r divided by pgt is 50 megawatt 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 cancels 5120 divided by 50 leads to 102.4 r okay time of uh, thermal power operation megawatt megawatt cancelled will be left with 102.4 r therefore for 102.4 r The thermal plant uh, generates fifty megawatt. Remember, for a time duration of one or two point four hour among one sixty eight hours. In one sixty eight hours, total thermal generation operation duration is one or two point four hours. In that one or two point four hours, it supplies a fifty megawatt. Okay. And remaining um, total uh, load is ninety megawatt. In that fifty megawatt uh, thermal power plant supplied. Remaining uh, is supplied by hydro power plant. Hydro generation is forty megawatt generation is 40 megawatt the total uh, load will be 50 plus 14 that is 90 megawatt is supplied okay the remaining uh, duration of operation if you remember that thermal power plant operated for uh, one, one or 2.4 hours for remaining 168 minus 102.4 r it is 65.6 r 168 minus 102.4 is 65.6 hours the hydro plant uh, supplies uh, megawatt of full load okay for a total duration of 168 hours total duration is 168 hours in that 168 hour 102.4 hours both thermal and hydro divides it as 50 and 40 megawatt respectively and remaining whatever the duration remaining 65.6 hours the hydro power plant supplies the total load of 90 megawatt okay thank you this is an exercise problem you can go through the problem and i will share the exercise problem also with this video thank you